folks, this is Danny at Bradley James Classics and today's classic is an absolute peach. I'm very biased because I absolutely love driving these little sports cars. This is a particularly lovely example of a Westfield SEI and for those in the know you're probably going to get a clue when I get to the back but there we are, that's a wide body. Now a wide body, even though this might not look very wide compared to driving your uh, BMW 3 Series diesel, it's actually um, a pretty bit more comfortable to, to drive in. Um, I'm not a small guy, uh, I can fit in here nicely um, and well, the pleasure is immense. But uh, I did tell you I was very biased. Now, those of you who know your Westfields, you probably may notice that this is the new nose cone. I've got it unclipped because I'm going to show you the wonderful engine. Uh, the car is mint. I mean, it's just been absolutely loved. It's showing up 14,000 miles. It was built in 1995. And I've got a wadge of receipts, including this receipt when it was first purchased, um, the correspondence that goes on between the factory and the owner, the build manual, uh, and then just an absolute clump of receipts. I mean, it hasn't, it's not in this condition by mistake. It's been absolutely loved. We'll talk about the engine in a minute, but I just wanted to let you know that you are gonna be in a beautiful example. I mean, the this sort of dark British racing green is, well, just of a colour. Um, really fitted out really well. I mean, the green carpets, um, dashboard, little steering wheel, these Cobra seats, harnesses, and the exhaust is a work of art. The whole car is. We've got sort of a, a, a Kevlar type wheel covers here. Look at all the chrome down on the suspension. New headlamps on it, actually. See LED motorbike indicators. You can see all the suspension brakes all painted up. You can see those uh, braided uh, steel uh, pipes, brake pipes, and gas suspension. Uh, right through here. Absolutely lovely car to work on. The ultimate father and son car to build, I guess. Uh, finished off really well. See this little cubby pocket here, and there's one here. And it's just been finished to a really nice standard. It is completely immaculate. Um, feels a million dollars when you're driving down the road. Now, this is the really exciting bit. I'm a bit of a fast Ford fan. Look at the size of those twin 50s. So that's a Pinto engine, quite recognizable from the rocker cover gasket. Um, the rocker cover uh, and probably gasket. You can see that engine's been painted up down there. It's all red, and chrome rocker cover, black gearbox. It's mint under here. Poly hoses. And I'm just going to read you a quick list of what's gone on in the front end. There's a one I prepared earlier. So balance and light and flywheel, and balance crank and rods. Full uh, 2.1 engine. So 2.1 cc, that means. Uh, big valve head, the biggest possible. Um, piston notch the suit. Uh, fully ported uh, twin 50 carbs. It's had a full engine rebuild at the cost of three and a half thousand pounds. High lift cam, uh, fast road, silicon hoses. And I think I already mentioned the headlamps. So that's all from uh, the 7th of the 4th, 2014. So recently this car had a load of money spent on it. I can tell you that it's got a hood which looks brand new. It doesn't even look like it's ever been used. It may well have not ever been used. I wouldn't choose this car to go driving in the rain. Um, so the frame unfolds from the uh, little cubby at the back which I've left open so I can show you. I've taken a number of high resolution pictures and you see that's where the roof sits and there's the frame as it unfolds 
all in perfect working order. You give that a tug and then a frame comes over and it gives you the ability to put a roof on. So you've got doors, uh, which again don't look like they've had any use. You've got your roof, so you've got your full wet weather kit. Again, I'd say it's unused. Uh, and you've also got the most wonderful uh, zip over tonneau cover, which you can just unzip for just your driver. And again, that's virtually as new. And it has, it's custom made for these uh, Cobra seats. And it looks really smart with that on actually. Uh, and 